Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to bring a topic that not a lot of people speak about, but I think everybody has had an experience with, which is splitting the bill. If you guys are interested in this video, please keep on watching. A few days ago, I did make a poll on Instagram where I asked you guys a few series of questions and I believe from what I was asking, a lot of people caught on of what I was trying to get to. I will tell a little story time at the end of the video, but for now, I'll just go over the questions that I did ask. This is the first question I asked, which was, you're at a lunch or dinner with friends. How do you think the bill should be separated? So pretty much I wanted to see, do you believe you should pay for yourself or should the check be separated amongst everybody? And everybody said that you should pay for yourself, which if you're alone, I agree that's true. Or if you're in a couple, like you and your boyfriend, you should pay together and then everybody else should separate. That's my opinion. So there is a few people that, I, that said that they should divide it amongst everyone. So then my next question was, if you say divide it evenly, what if you're paying more than what your order is? And I asked, who cares, have a good time, so it doesn't matter that you're paying more, or not cool, pay for yourself. So in that instance, let's say it's a group of four people, and two, what, like two of them are a couple, and there's two single people, like should you pay for the other people's food, or should you just pay for yourself at that point, since they got more food than you? Um, at that point, everybody said, not cool, pay for yourself, which, I mean, yes, I mean, technically that goes back to the first question, which is why I asked the second scenario as, if, you're, if it's not fair, then why should you pay for everyone when you should just take care of yourself as what you're eating, for my opinion. Next question I asked, now let's put it this way. Your acquaintances are buying alcoholic beverages, but you're not drinking. Should you be responsible for their tab? So now we're including additional things. Alcoholic beverages are usually more expensive at restaurants. So should you be responsible for your friends drinking if you're not drinking? And the choices were pay for the drinks, they should be responsible. And pretty much everybody said that whomever is drinking should be responsible for that tab of what it is, which I agree. If you're not drinking, you shouldn't be responsible for paying for somebody's drink because like I said, they usually are a little bit more expensive. So then I, I wanted to see what your guys' experience was. So I asked the question of if you guys can let me know your experiences so I can kind of see what your guys' experience with the splitting the bill was. And mostly everybody said, it depends who we go out with. So a person said, if it's my usual people, I'm fair. If it's friends with random people, everybody needs to be responsible for their share, which I agree. Somebody said that this reminded them at, of a situation that happened with her and her boyfriend, which I think this topic happens a lot and I just think people are just brush it off like it's whatever. Somebody else said that her friend invited her and her husband to go out to dinner with her husband and her kids and then they were asked to split the bill evenly. See, I mean, that's another kids that you're feeding also so it kind of depends on the situation you're in like if it's your sister if it's like family i think it's a little bit different but when it comes to you and your friends like that's not fair somebody else said that they went on a double date and the other couple disappeared on them so i'm assuming they were stuck paying the whole entire bill like that's pretty shitty of somebody to do and just leave you with the bill like that's embarrassing like if you can't afford to go out to eat and pay for your share of food, then you should just stay home. Those were my series of questions that I asked. The reason why I asked these questions, I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I'm just telling you guys why I asked this question. So we went to brunch with Eric and a few of his acquaintances. Um, I didn't, I don't really know a lot of these people that we went out to eat with. So I really had no clue what I was getting myself into. We went to brunch, everything was cool. Um, they started bringing out champagne bottles, which it was a Sunday morning. I wasn't gonna be drinking on Sunday. I don't, I'm not a big fan of champagne. Either is Eric, he doesn't really like champagne. So what ended up happening at the end of the meal, pretty much we were asked to pay for a whole bottle of champagne. I mean, it wasn't too much. It was like a $45 bottle, but I had didn't even have one drink. I think Eric had maybe max two drinks and he wasn't even wanting to drink them. He was kind of just 
being told to drink them. So when the full bill comes out, I think it, it must have been like over $300. It must have been. So one of the persons that was there just pretty much just said, oh, add a bottle to their tab, to mine and Eric's tab. It was a total of six, seven people that were there. It was a total of seven people. One of them didn't drink either. I didn't drink at all. He didn't drink at all. And I was still charged for a bottle. Why? Because Eric had a drink or two. Like, to me, that seemed very childish to do because it wasn't one bottle or two bottles that they got. It was a total of like five, maybe four or five bottles that were purchased for that table. And for me to just be responsible for a whole champagne bottle when I wasn't drinking, like that to me is not fair. That to me didn't make sense why I was paying for it. Did we pay? Yeah, we did. Like Eric just paid for it, he didn't care. But to me, I'm like, if you don't have money to pay for your extra bottle that you're buying, don't buy it. Don't try to show off what you don't have, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe I am being petty. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I am. Maybe it was just not the vibe. I mean, if I, maybe if I would have been in a, of my group of friends, it would have been a different scenario. But because I didn't really know these people that we were out with, it, it was just weird. It was just, like I said, it was just not the vibe. It was so totally something different. But like I mentioned, we had never gone out with people. So maybe that's just how they normally do things they just all evenly distribute the check or whatever every time i've gone out with my friends everybody pays for their share if we're in couples the couples they figure it out so i was just super confused i left that day and i told eric you know what like it was just it was weird like it is just not my cup of tea i don't think i need to pay for anybody else's drinks especially if i wasn't drinking like if i'm not drinking why am i responsible for somebody else's bill like that's irresponsible of somebody else to be doing in my opinion but let me know in the comments down below if you guys think i'm just being petty if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you guys all for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys all in my next video